So here we have an Omen. We're gonna upgrade the drive to two terabytes. We're gonna clone the drive in B and E. All right, so first of all, we're gonna remove the drive. All right, here's the drive right here. We're gonna replace this. We're gonna actually clone it. So we're gonna remove this one and clone it. So let's do that. Okay, took out the screw. Take it out, simple. We have this cloner here. I'm gonna clone it, so let's do that. So here's the original one. It goes under source. All right, put that one in here. That goes there. Put the one that we want, the two terabytes. So we want a one terabyte to two terabytes. That's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna put this here. And then we turn it on. And we wait till the two lights come on. So it has to identify this one and this one. And then we wait, there you go. It identify them both. So all we have to do is push the button for uh, these three seconds. One, two, three, and there it goes. So you see all the lights going? So it's copying them right now so far. We got two lights going. It's at 50%, but we have to wait until it goes to 100%. So it's cloning right now. So let's see how long it takes. All right, we're cloning it right now. We're at 100%, but we have to wait until it stops blinking. So you guys can see it still blinking. All right, here we are, 100%. It's all solid now. It's a little hot, just to let you know. A little warm, but we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and disconnect it. And then we're gonna go ahead and power this unit up with a new drive. So let's go ahead and do that. It's the opposite way. It has, make sure you have a, a thermal tape, it's necessary because these do get heat up a little bit. So put that in there. All right, so we cloned it and the drive still shows that there's not enough space, but you gotta go into right click on it. You gotta go into manage so you can manage the actual drive and show the drive that there's more space with it. Say yes. And then we're gonna go to the drive gonna bring this one close this out bring this higher and if you can notice this space go into this space this can be a massive space now but you have to teach the system how to enable the other part so if you guys can see this is the partition that we're missing here um, all this we're missing this you see the partition right there this is what we're missing 1.3 so we need to enable it. We could enable it by opening, extend the volume. If you guys could see it, extend the volume, hit next. And it's asking you what do you want to add to it? Available, selective. So hit next. We want to include that one. Finish. And if you can see, it extended the drive completely already. So right now it's going to integrate the drive. And there we have the C. Now we have the C fully active with the extended drive there's something that you're not going to be aware of the bat and it looks like it didn't work but i'm telling you that this is one thing that you'll like so we just extended the drive completely just by adding because it did recognize that it was an extra space so now that we hold we're going to minimize this close this out and we're going to my computer drives we're going to see the actual files we're going to we're going to go in here we notice now the C drive, the one that we just expanded, we see as 1.8, which is two terabytes from before. Look at the massive amount of space we actually create in here. Performance wise, he's not going to notice anything. It's about the same kind of performance. It's an NVNE. If you get a, a 980 or 990, uh, it's going to be a little faster. 980 is pretty much the next generation of the NVNE. Uh, there is a couple of, um, but you won't notice. It's not worth the trade on that part. So hope you guys enjoy. Easy update on the Nomen. We did it. Um, the drives, we used two. We didn't connect the actual USB. We just did the clone. Easy to do. So if you guys are looking for this in the market, bought it through Amazon. So.